the race or ethnicity of my parents is that my mom is um, black and Native American and my dad is white or Euro-American. There are always conversations though about what it means to be who we are. My brother and I would often switch um, in school because back in the day, you can only be one. You could only be black or you could only be white or you could only be this. And so oftentimes my brother and I would switch every other year to be, to recognize who we are because we're not just one box. We don't fit just one box. But one of the challenges, um, I got to hear one of my friends once say, you're the whitest black person I know. So what does that mean, right? I felt Sabrina was uh, a very sharp uh, person going into ministry. Um, I was captured by a personality. Certainly a passion for justice was what Sabrina brought. But when I sat there and I got to hear him preach and meet this man who is a legacy black preacher in the Presbyterian Church USA, and I knew in that moment that I wanted to learn more from him. Often when we would do our yearly um, or semi-annual um, check-ins with Sabrina as an inquirer and then as a candidate, we weren't able to fly her in. Um, so we would Zoom conference or video conference her in. And literally the first question that we would ask her is, okay, so where in the world is Sabrina Slater? Because she was everywhere. Um, so every, every place I've been has a different memory for me. But the hope I might have or, or the hope that I saw is God is active all over the world in really amazing ways. The hope would be that we just join in and continue to create with God. I, I walked up there offering what I felt needed to be offered, not knowing if I would perhaps have a job the next day. I was able to name that white supremacy is evil. But the reality is this is what we're living in right now. And we cannot be silent as a church. Because of all of my experiences, I was able to be there, I think, in the space of integrity from a voice and a face that people are not used to just yet. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for our church.